Okay, we'll start putting this uh, siding on now and uh, getting it all permanently mounted so I can drill up and put my uh, carriage bolts in. So we'll go ahead and do that now. there to hold things while I get some measurements here. Alright. Well I can't believe that. That is almost perfect. big old deck screws in here that'll hold everything in line pretty good. Double check our measurement. cross beam right in here. I don't want to put my screw down. I should have a carriage bolt coming through about right there. So we'll put this over by this stud. Okay. That'll do it. Check my top measurement here. That is right on the money. Okay, I'm gonna put me just a little mark right there, so kind of a reference. Because this whole end of the trailer has dropped. It's got to be a good inch and a quarter. Now this cabinet here has dropped a little bit along with the, the uh, roof so we're going to jack it back up into place. I'm going to release my clamp. should stand there alright with them deck screws in there. Okay, yeah, that's holding good. Get that awning rail pushed up above the pattern. Okay. All right. Now we'll just lift that up until things line up. Put this piece of wood up there so it doesn't mess up the cabinet. I think I can just refinish that and see the place. about right 
there. I haven't tweaked my measurement here. And just about a quarter of them. I'm looking right here to make sure this planes in right on my mark there. That's too big. I gotta get some more square. And that will determine whether I've got this too high or not. See that's Showing just about a that's kind of hard to say. It's pretty damn close right there. <laughs> 